Hi, my name is Doug Dupin and I'm from the Palisades Museum of Prehistory. And I'm on a field trip today. We're gonna go visit Gwyn Island Museum down in the lower Chesapeake Bay. Was uh, the brainchild of uh, Elna Respus. Uh, she lived here for many years and she knew with the wonderful history associated with this island. Uh, the Battle of Cricket Hill and all the rich maritime history. And uh, when she saw that uh, we, we were finding all these artifacts, uh, she said, we need a museum here on the island. Anyway, this is what started our involvement, my husband and my involvement with museum, is this collection, because we shared it with everybody. So I, you know, it's not any good to have a collection in your, you know, closet. That was dredged up by Thurston Sean in 1972, I believe. And of course he and his crew all wanted a piece of, of the tusk and that was okay. But he kept the mastodon tooth and the blade. He kept it for several years and then he sold it to a Matthews County man and he kept it for a while. And then he brought it to the museum. I wasn't even here that day. We had a volunteer working. And uh, he told me later, he said, oh, Jean, uh, you better check that box. We've got something interesting here. So I put it upstairs under a, an acrylic case. It wasn't even, it wasn't even locked. It stayed there for about, mm, maybe another five or six years until Darren Larry came to visit. He was the one, he came in, Pat was working that, that weekend. My name is Pat Karovics and I'm working here at the Grand Island Museum. And a few years ago the Smithsonian archaeologists came in and wanted to know a little bit about the Clovis point we have and a few other of the points. And then I said there was another point upstairs and they said, oh, they were more interested in seeing that one. So I took them upstairs and they were very excited because they had never seen a point like the Simma point. And he came back the, uh, the very next week. They walked in, Dennis and Darren, just like we knew them all our lives. They're wonderful uh, people to know. So they went upstairs to, to look at it and um, they, they held it up and looked at it at every angle you can imagine. So. Uh, he, he asked me if I could get permission from the owner for him to take it back to Washington. So he hand carried it that day, and uh, the owner had no problems with that. And of course it was gone maybe a year and a half, two years, when we got the word that it looked really good and everything was testing out to, you know, the way he hoped it would. Um, they, uh, they wanted to come up, w w return it, and. Uh, so he said, "I'll bring you a case from the Smithsonian," and that was more than I that was more than I ever hoped for. A beautiful little case, and they set up the, the nice display. It, it's just been uh, fantastic to think that this little mu museum, you know, had something like this that put us on the map. Really, I mean, we were on the map for that short-lived battle of Cricket Hill, but that that was exciting, but nothing like this for us. <laughs>